just describe what you were thinking as Bo went through that at bat in the eighth inning there with Jason Adam. He was locked in, man. I'm, the fastball he fouled off down the right field line, uh, laid off a couple of really good sliders, and then that's just kind of where he is right now, um, laying off tough pitches and um, not missing pitches to hit. And I think the first pitch of the bat was probably the best one to hit. And then to hit that out with where it was is kind of just speaks to where Bo is right now. You mentioned that, and we've obviously seen a lot of that in the past few weeks. But for him, does you get the sense that basically he's going to be able to hit whatever pitch they kind of throw up there right now? Yeah, I mean that's kind of he has that unique ability to really cover the whole the whole strike zone, kind of, and then some. Um, so he's definitely the dude you want up right now in any spot. Just in the in the previous at bat, obviously with him almost getting hit, what was your take on that? And you know the composure for him to probably get a little mad and, and do what he did at the end there. Yeah, I mean, whenever a ball is up at a guy's head or face, you know, you kind of don't love it, especially when a guy's got some pretty good control before. Um, but for him to stay locked in, um, I think speaks volumes to where he is really um, at the plate right now to kind of just focus on the task at hand the next at bat. Um, it says a lot about him and his, his confidence, his approach, his demeanor, um, and glad that it wasn't any worse than it was. And down the season when he comes out like that what do you see that you know tells you he's gonna have a good one I think the breaking ball says a lot about him um, locating his fastball sinker was great tonight um, and on a couple other righties especially Harold Ramirez and that leads to Chappie doing his thing at third I mean underrated defense every night um, but I think he, he had a really good mix and fastball execution was really good and uh, breaking ball was really really good tonight as well just um, how, how big does it feel to get this home stand off to a good start and have that kind of dramatic come from behind win? Yeah, it's great. You know, it's, it's going to be a long series. It's a good team, obviously, um, division rival. And, um, you know, not a better guy to have at the plate than Bo there with two outs. So um, every game is big. Every game is important. And it's nice to kind of, you know, coming off a really good road trip to get it started like this. Just on the Bo, um, when he almost well when he got hit how did it act it was start, hard to see like where did it hit him in the arm first and then go past his or did you get a good look at what actually happened i mean i think what i've seen it kind of it hit him right in the in the ear flap of the helmet um so just really thankful that it wasn't worse than it was you know that's whenever you're up in that area it's a uh not an ideal situation so um yeah glad it wasn't any worse than it was Hey, John, that was a, a sort of a typical game that we see from the Rays often and, and from a lot of teams this, this time of year. What do you like about the way your team is equipped to, to handle those types of situations? I mean, I just love the competitiveness. I love that, you know, everyone kept their composure. Um, you know, a guy that we hadn't faced before um, gave us a little bit of trouble at the, at the start of the game. And then second time through, guys made adjustments. Um, but against a guy, against a team like this, you got to play clean defense. And you know the error by Jano, you know that hurt. But um, the fact that guys stepped up, you know, it's you're going to need some good at bats. You're going to need some good plays when you're not playing exactly clean. And uh, I think Bo was a perfect example of that tonight. You said the word composure a couple of times here, John. This was a game where very clearly tensions were running high. At least it's at one point there, warnings were issued couple of hit batters, how do you assess your ability and your team's ability individually and collectively to, to keep that composure and keep fighting? Yeah, it says a lot about them. You know, I think they're a confident group. They're obviously a, a close group. Um, and they're, you know, really, I think, focused on the task at hand. So if tensions run a little bit high, you know, that's, that's okay. Um, I think a lot of the guys in there know how to reel it in and still compete and still, you know, focus on what they have to do. Um, whether it's a guy coming out of the bullpen like Jimmy getting in, you know, another big double play or Timmy, you know, facing the pinch hitter and Jordan doing his thing or, you know, big at bats from guys. So um, it says a lot about them um, and their focus on what they're trying to do. Obviously, every win counts the same, but does it have any added meaning to, to win a game like this one, not only to start a home stand on the right foot, but also it's a very direct matchup here, right? Yeah, I mean, I think every game is going to be big no matter what. If you look at who we're playing, every game is going to be magnified a little bit. Every game is going to be important. So um, it is nice to get the home stand kind of kicked off this way for sure. But, you know, there's going to be um, probably a lot of close matchups with these guys going forward.
John, on the, the Jano error, was it a slow call? Did he just miss the count? No, he knew it was ball four, and I think it's so, you know, it's tough now with replay. You know, we're telling guys to get the ball down there no matter what in case a guy pops off. Um, a Rosarena being a little bit of an exception with, you know, his stolen base ability. So I think in a perfect world, you know, talking to Jano, he probably wished he put it in his pocket um, and let their hitters beat Hosey at that point. So, um, yeah, it wasn't, it was just a little bit of an over-aggressive play by Jano. And with Vladdy, when we talked to Bo earlier today, he said he thought he saw Vlad starting to come around in Texas, and he got the two hits today. Are you seeing the same thing? And also, what happened in that last at bat? <laughs> I'm definitely seeing the same thing. I mean, I think, I think Vladdy's pretty close. You know, the double he hits the right center, the ground ball base hit, coming off a series where he hit the ball really hard. Um, you know, Vladdy is one of the best hitters in baseball, and everyone knows that. So. I think he is, you know, when we're talking about starting to come around, you're still talking about a guy that's really producing. Um, so I think he's kind of trending in the right direction. And then his last at bat, you know, I th he tried to call time a couple times, I think. And I know it was, it seemed to get a little bit quiet as, as Adam was delivering the pitch and, um, and the umpire didn't hear him. Um, they talked it out and, uh, you know, they were good with it. Hey, John, before the game, Bo talked about how he kind of knows how important he is or can be to this lineup. Do you think that kind of self-pressure or mentality is important for his game? I mean, Bo thrives on competition and he thrives on being great. And um, I think he understands, you know, obviously how well he's going right now. Um, but I don't think he needs anything extra. He doesn't need to put any extra pressure on himself. He wants to be, you know, the guy up in a big moment. He wants to, you know dictate his at bats and I think he's just doing that right now um, and really good players do really cool things like that tonight. John just given the volume of innings that you guys have coming over the next I don't know, so three, three days just how significant and how impactful for your planning is Burrios just leaving eight outs uh, for the bullpen tonight? Yeah huge it allows everyone who pitched tonight to be available tomorrow um, especially with a double header and you know I've said it all along you get good starting pitching you get a quality start it lines guys up out of the bullpen keeps guys available um, what he did tonight was fantastic um, you know he's a he's a really really good pitcher I know he's had his ups and downs but you know tonight I think was a uh, a really good step in the right direction for him in a lot of different ways um, so yeah we're looking for more of the same from Jose going forward and when you're covering 18 tomorrow um, it's awesome that he did what he did too you got a starter for game two? Not quite yet. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see after game one. <laughs>